Hello, so let's solve this problem about DC generators. Calculate the flux per pole required on full load for a 50 kilowatts, 400 volts, 8 pole, 600 RPM DC shunt generator with 256 conductors arranged in a lap connected winding. The armature winding resistance is 0.1 ohm, the shunt field resistance is 200 ohms, and there is a brush contact voltage drop of 1 volt at each brush on full load. First, let's draw the circuit diagram of DC shunt generator. Remember, in DC shunt generator, the shunt field winding is in parallel with the armature winding. So, RSH is the shunt field winding resistance. RA is the armature winding resistance. This is the load. And EG is the generated EMF of the DC generator. So now let's draw the currents. This being the IL. This being the IF. And this being the IA. So by KCL, IA is equal to IL plus IF. So since the load is given, which is 50 kilowatts, 400 volts, we can solve for the I, I sub L, which is the load current. I sub L is equal to that is 50,000 over by 400 is equal to 125 amperes. Since RSH is in parallel with the load, we can solve for the I sub F. And that is 400 over by RSH which is 200. Therefore, IF is equal to 2 amperes. Therefore, our I sub A is equal to I sub L plus I sub F and that is 127 amperes. So, by KVL, we can now solve for the generated EMF and that is EG is equal to 400 plus I sub A times R sub A that is 127 times the resistance of the armature winding which is 0.1 and don't forget the brush contact voltage drop of 1 volt at each brush and there are two brushes therefore that is 2 and EG is now equal to 400 14.7 volts. Now, recall the formula for the EMF generated in DC generators that is E sub G is equal to E times N times Z times phi over by 60 A. So, solving for the flux that is phi is equal to E sub G times 60 times the A is the parallel paths for this problem A is equal to M times P since this is lap connected winding over by P times N times A so the pole number of poles will be cancelled out then substituting the values we get 414.7 times 60 the m being 1 since the multiplicity of the winding is just simplex that is simply 1 so n being the rpm that is 600 
times number of conductors J 256 therefore the flux per pole in Weber's is equal to 0.162 Weber I hope I helped you in this problem and please do me a favor of subscribing to my channel